Hello and welcome back to part 8 of Win 1 Take 1. Um, today we'll be playing QPR. But um, I'm going to do something first. Um, uh, the FM Hope was doing this um, a similar, well, doing this as well, but with uh, Fulham. And he allowed himself at the beginning to get three um, players in any position. And I think I might need to do that. I also got Ron Vlar back, just to mention. But he's suspended. But I think I might have to do that myself. Just because I'm very short on positions. So yeah, I've got a generator with that's the I've got a generator with team, so I'm just gonna get team and then put their keepers into the, the um generator because I want a keeper, a uh, left back and a right mid. So I'm gonna do that if I, I, I don't even yeah, so Swansea, this is for the um so for keeper. I'd probably just do that for right attacking mid to be honest. I'd get all the names, but that takes too long. So I'll just go and get Swansea's right attacking mid, and I'll be back in a second. So yeah, I'm back with the three, uh, three players from Swansea, and we'll see which one we get. And we get Hernandez, the only one that actually happens to be injured. So I'll send him over to my club, and since though he's not even that good, to be honest. Well, that's comparing my best attacking mid. I think that's comparing him to like Rooney. Yeah. But anyway, we'll... Um, we want a keeper, so um, I'll go back to the. I can do this while I'm here. I can go back to the teams. And which team I get this for the keeper? Chelsea. This could go very well. This could be could cause unfair, but. Well, if, if um, someone else did it, I think I should be allowed to do it as well. And I missed out at the beginning of doing it. So, yeah. So, we'll get the keepers from Chelsea. So, yeah, I'm back with the keepers. There's Czech, Hilario, Mark, Swartz. I couldn't bother to put Swartz in, so I should put Mark. And we get. From Chelsea, we'll get Hilario. It's a better keeper than we've got now. See, people thought we were going to get Czech. He's 37 now. So I've still got a problem with my keepers being ancient. I just need an, I don't think he's even as. Not at the same rate. Nice. I just need another keeper. Anyway, we'll go left backs. So I'll uh, generate a team first and then we'll see what we get. Crystal Palace. We'll get a left back from Crystal Palace. So I'll put them into it and I'll s back in a second. So yeah, we'll see which left back we get from Crystal Palace. And we get Pa, the one that I actually wanted right at the beginning. So Crystal Palace player I wanted and I can't remember I got. So I'll put him to a club and I'll be back in a second. Right, I'm back and I've um, sent Hilario, Pa and Hernandez on team. Once I can get onto it. There you go. We've actually got more of a full team now and I've actually got a left back. And today we're taking on QPO. A team we can hopefully beat. I say hopefully they are a team we should beat, being a league blowers and whatnot. They're not. They're a, he's cup tie. He's ineligible. Oh, he's played for someone else already. So yeah, Duff at left back. Seems great. I think Rooney will play that same attacking mid then. It's funny, I want a new keeper, Hilario didn't even make it into the first team. Apparently when I lose, I'm supposed to lose a player as well. But, I mean, I'm losing a lot of games. I mean, I haven't won a game yet. So if I do that, I will do... If this goes into second season, I'd do that. But because I'm losing a lot of games, I'll end up with no players. So I'll probably wait to do that. Pointless highlight, even though we're attacking really well. Richards, bad for a Rooney, bad pass. Sigurdsson to Carroll, Carroll back to Sigurdsson, Sigurdsson back to Carroll, Gibson. It's a ball to Rooney, it's a right ball. And he missed. Brilliant. A chance in first minute. And we couldn't score. It's going to be a game of highlights, I mean, highlights coming up. Lost ball again, keep it, thank you. I say play out short, but there's no one to play out short too. It scares me when keepers do that. They boot and just boot it to their player, but they walk so far out of the net. Put me on edge, for sake. 
Nice one, Richard's injured. Fuck you, QPR. Fuck you. I don't have a right back. Sub. Bennett's playing at right back. That means he's probably going to have to go to a full back. Undefend. Not support. Undefend. Great. I really saw Duff playing defend. He needs to go on their support. Are they just trying to injure all my players? Rooney's taking a bastard knock as well. Just change Duff so he can actually um, run up pitch a little bit because he can't defend save his life. It's going to be. No, we're on counter. I meant to change my so I always play counter. I suppose QPR and we should be winning this game so there's. Probably no need to play Carol, 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 second right, no. Are they going to make me on counter? Let's see a bar. Are we gonna, is he going to be getting a with a team on counter? <coughs> are, we, are we offside? No, so we went on attack. They sent counter with bar. And then we counted it as them and scored. Right. I don't even want to know. Cupid have actually got some decent players to get as well. They're going to go score, aren't they? We've not been able to hold a lead at all this season, so I wouldn't expect me. I wouldn't, wouldn't surprise me, sorry. That were a good save, actually. That were a bad corner. Right. Anyway, um, the team uh, I keep saying about the team of season, the most consistent one. But by the time it's uploaded, I've probably have uploaded that pack opening because this is part seven, and only three parts have been uploaded so far. I do a lot of these parts every day, so yeah. But team of season, most consistent out in. Six hours and uh, yeah, six no five hours and thirty eight minutes. It's eleven thirty two. Twenty two, sorry. And they scored, yep. And the offside. I've just seen that player that scored as well as Charlie Austin. That's a player I'd like to take off him. Charlie Austin. Well, I don't know how good he is in Prem, but I know he's really good in championship. I'm looking at the players I'd want to take to be honest. I think many. I take the keeper. I think it's Rob Green though. Yeah. Because if they've done this update and say that's gone to, to Toronto. I'm, I'm not even like. I'm barely even commentating this game. I talk about other stuff all the time. There's no very interest in happening. Rooney to Carroll. Carroll keeper saves it. Carroll to Morrison. Morrison to Carroll. Morrison to Carroll, Morrison to Wanyama. This is what happens when I commentate, it's boring. Because at the minute I've got like a monotone voice because my throat still feels weird. And also in my throat, it just goes really weird. Say so it was 6 7 minutes, we're still 1 0 up. Rather than shots on that, don't even bother. Fucking hell. That, that cross right bar. So that fucking cross it bar, not cross bar, but I'll make a sub. Rooney's really tired. Why's my second attacking mid never make it into these? Put Morrison over there. I thought I was playing on that left either. Fuck it, yellow edge. I'm going to change formation. Is anyone else not playing very well? No, not really. Wait for this sub to be made and I'm going to change tactics. There we go. Because I don't think Yelovich can play out there. 
Nope. Right. No shit. Oh, Richard's best not be injured for long. Oh, they're having more shots, but not having them on target. Jesus. We had eight shots off target. We've only had three shots off target. And we saw one of them. Was that a flick on from one yammer? It went away to keeper. Nice Austin. Austin to Carroll. But oh, fuck's sake. And Joey Barton scored against us. Absolutely fucking brilliant. So yeah, they have another shot on target and scored. Great. We just fuck off. If we can see it again, I'm just gonna cry. We're gonna concede, aren't we? No, nope, Bennett and Yamit. No, nope, we're gonna concede. That is probably the worst defending I've ever seen in my life. One Yammer can go suck a dick. Fucking Bennett and whatever other bloody centre back is that's there can go and fucking suck dicks. That would be the worst defending I've seen in my fucking life. One nil up and we're throwing it away and we're losing to QPR, a team we should obviously win because we're much better than them. But you know what? Fuck that. That's fucking stupid. It was it, unlucky boys have weren't our night. Nope, if they didn't play like utter fucking twats, then we would have been fine and we probably would have won. But no, we lost to QPR. Whoa. I can see a save being a save where we lose every single fucking game. Rich is only injured for seven weeks to two months. Oh, what fucking joy. QPR, you twats. Anyway, we're back for a Tottenham game, a game that we'd probably lose, an Everton game, we'd lose a Fulham game, we'd lose a West Brom game, we'd lose a City game, we'd lose Southampton. Actually, we're probably going to lose every game for the rest of the season. We picked up a point. We're out at Capital One Cup. So, yeah. You cannot be playing a 5.6. That is just... That is not even... That is no way, shape or form acceptable. So, none of his, that's the only acceptable performance. You know, three games ago. I think that game we drew, actually. Yeah, it were. Fuck's sake. Thanks for watching and see you later.